Question number two is design an algorithm for finding all the positive integer factors. For example, in the case of the integer 12, your algorithm should report the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So these are all the divisors of the number 12. So how we can write an algorithm for this problem? So first we declare the dividend variable. So dividend variable can be x, y, z. Input the number, let the number be 12. So 12 will be saved in the dividend variable. Which you have assigned to x, y, or z. And then number 12, 13, or 14 will be saved. Step number 3 is declare the divisors variable. So we first declare, secondly we declare the divisors variable which can also be uh, x, y, z, anything which we have some name rakh so you should clear the concept of dividend and divisors question number uh, part, step number 4 is assign 1 as the initial value of divisor so first we assign the value 1 to the divisors because 1 is the divisors of all the numbers koi bhi number aap le le so 1 us se completely divide ho jata hai so therefore we assign one value to the divisor variable divide dividend by divisors so when we divide karenge, suppose we divide the 12 by 1 so if the remainder is 0 then the divisor is a positive factor uh, divide ho gaya, so we have display kar dena ke 1 is divisor hai. increase the divisor's value by 1 so now we do increment in the divisor so we have value 1 thi, start we have initialized ki thi. So now the value become 2. If the divisor is greater than dividend, go to step number 10. So if the number you have 12 and the value of 13 is the divisor, then the value is greater. Hai, so it means that the program will stop. Kar denge. If the value is less than 12, so we go to the step number 5. In step number 9, we write go to step number 5. So this is the loop process until your value is greater than become greater than the number. The number of the is greater than the number, the loop continue. Hoga. So when you go to the step number 5, here is again divide the dividend by divisor. So you have again divisor se divide karna hai. So new value of divisor is 2. So 2 jab 12 se divide hoga, so remainder is 0. So it is also a positive factor. Same, uh, we increase the value 3, 4. When we increase the value, uh, go to the 5 number. So 5 is not divisible, uh, 12 is not divisible by 5. So 5, we will not output mein nahi display karenge. Same for the 6, 6 display ho jayega. 7 nahi hoga, 8, 9, 10, 11 nahi hoga. Last one is a 12. So number kuch bhi ho sakta hai. Number can be 13. 8, 6, कुछ भी हो सकते हैं जिसके आपने devices find करने होंगे question number 3 is determine which of these values can be declared as variables and which ones are declared as constant so first आपको इसके जो concept है वो clear होना चाहिए so values of the constant can not be changed during program execution and the values of the variable can be changed during the program execution for example first one is the area of the pyramid so area of pyramid may have length width height ye hoti hai. so length width height different ho sakti hai. so it means its key value jo hai, wo variable hogi, area ki. the distance between Pakistan and the Jordan so in the distance hai, wo constant hi hai, fix hi hai, change nahi ho raha hota. Aaj ek distance hai, kal change ho so therefore it is a constant boy name boys names can be variable kuch bhi ho sakta hai ali ahmed faisal etc so loop counter variable loop counter the variable because ab loop start kar sakte hain 0 minus 3 minus 5 6 next one is temperature temperature can also be a variable Question number 5 is 
rewrite the following situation using if then else structure so first you know about the if else structure so first statement is she has been training hard so she is in a good condition for the race so first you analyze the statement so in this before the comma part is the condition so if she is training hard then she is in a good condition for the race part number b print even on the screen when the module of number entered equals 0 when divided by 2 and odd otherwise so uh, for the number even the condition is if the number is divisible by 2 and the remainder is 0 so it is even so mod means remainder so if number mod by 2 is equal to 0 then output even otherwise else output is odd so the number divided by 2 hai, so you have to pass even hoga. otherwise where agar remainder 1 aata hai, so wo else part mein aa jayega so wo aapka odd display ho jayega question number 6 is using a 4 cross 4 matrix explain how nested loops work so 4 cross 4 means 4 rows and 4 columns and nested loop so nested loop means a loop within loop so a loop can a for loop use karenge so we say nested loop karenge. you can use a for loop within for loop you can use a while loop within while loop so first define two counters one for the column and the other for the row counter means ki aapne ek variable declare karna hoga jo ke ek column ko represent karega and next one is for row use an outer loop for the rows so outer one is the row for row 0 to 4 so it means it start from 0 to 4 and for it means the for loop is end here part c inside the outer loop use an inner loop of the columns so row is the outer loop and column is the inner loop so 0 to 4 and column 0 to 4 so first after pass the row ki value 0 hogi so column ki value uske against 0 or output column 0 print ho jayega then column value will be increase 1 so output column number so column number now become 1 then column ki value 2 ho jayegi output 2 ho jayega then column ki value 3 and then 4 aapke paas same uh, 4 ke baad value 5 hogi so value false ho jayegi then aapke paas row mein increment hoga row start mein 0 thi ab row 1 ho jayegi true hai so column mein in ho jayega column wale for loop mein so column first 0 display hoga then 1 2 3 4 jaisi 5 hoga so column wala for loop false ho jayega again jo outer loop hai row wala so uski value increase ho jayegi jo ki 1 se 2 ho jayegi again condition true so ye continue rahega until jab row ki aapke paas value 5 hogi so aapke paas dono jo loop honge wo terminate ho jayenge end ho jayenge for each outer loop iteration the inner loop is iterated for the beginning to end so it means ki jab bhi row ki value 0 hogi so jo inner wala column hoga wo utne times chalega for example start se leke 0 se 4 tak continue hoga jab row ki value 1 hogi so column jo inner loop hai wo 1 se 0 se leke 4 tak again continue hoga row ki value 2 pe again same tarike se process continue hoga tab tak jab tak outer loop aapka end nahi ho jata